Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, Football Manager 20. We are with FK Carl Scrona, our fifth club of the save. This is episode 26. Welcome back. Um, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? So, after beating Zier Gardens 2-0, a 1-1 draw... AIK, Coco with the goal, gave up a late equalizer. Brahma Pajama, 6-1, to one, boys. Pontus Paulson with a hat trick. Carl Evans with his, a goal. Ollie Jacobson and Christian Larson. Uh, we were up 6-0, and then they got an 88th minute goal, again, to break a clean sheet. And then a 1-1 draw against Halmia. <laughs> it was an ugly game. Uh, they had a player sent off in the sixth minute. Jordje Jordjevic was sent off in the 27th minute for us. Uh, Evans and Erickson with goals for each team. Evans for us. And uh, so, yeah, we are unbeaten in four matches, fellas. Uh, that puts us in third position with eight points. Two points a game. I'm... I'm excited. I think the, uh, the, the the British word is chucked. I'm chucked with that. I just can't do the British accent. But uh, I am very, very happy. Uh, third position. And uh, we're playing Kalmar today. I believe it's Kalmar. Yes. So uh, hopefully. Now on the medical front, we do have some injuries. Minari uh, injured his hip early in the season. He's out two to four more months. Coco got injured with a hernia. He's out four more weeks. And Leonard Thompson pulled a calf muscle. He missed a couple of games. And he will return in a, in a couple of days. So, anyway, we are home. We are favored. We've only beaten Kalmar once. Wasn't that the team that we beat at the end of last season? I'm forgetting at this moment. Oh, well. We are going to keep going with this tactic because, God damn, it's working. All right, uh, so yes, uh, Georgievich is suspended. Dietert is going to move up into the defensive mid. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know if I want that or not. Thompson's injured. Six passing. Five passing. Uh, I think I'm going to put Ollie Jacobson there. And then that will allow us to put Dietert back there. And we're going to bring Badge on for a start. I like that. That's what I want to do. And I'm going to start Gustafson. Richardson has uh, played three, uh, four league matches. He's allowed three goals, one shutout. He gets a one-year contract extension if he plays five games this year. He's 37. I don't really want to keep him another year. Besides that, oh, real quick, more transfer news. We did sign a new goalkeeper, Herbert Kostman uh, from Sandhausen. Uh, he is a actual sweeper keeper. Uh, he is a 25-year-old German, and he's not bad. He's not bad. He joins us uh, in July. Uh, if we compare him with uh, Richardson, uh Shot stopping is 12. Distribution's a little lacking. Communication is still double digits. Much more physical, a lot more speed. And then if we compare him with uh, Gustafson, pretty similar. Again, better phys on the physical side, mental's close, much better communication. So I'm viewing this as an upgrade at our keeper uh, position. Uh, if we take a look, he is a four and a half star potential. So that's going to be our, our new starting keeper. But uh, I want to want to give Gustafson a run here. He is a little bit better of a shot stopper. So we'll see. Uh, he has not started a league match yet. Uh, allowing less than one per match in the friendlies. So we'll see. Yeah, Jacobson, we move back. So let's go with that. OK, 
it's really nice having uh, a lot of Swedes on the team that we are not having to deal with. You need more homegrown players. All right. Uh, push forward. All right. Roche. I'm guessing it's Roche and not Roach. Roach is either a uh, little insect that nobody likes or it's a, uh, a horse in The Witcher. Oh, he turns on it. Paulson puts it in. His fourth of the season, Karsten Bag or Badge with the assist. God, I want him to start more. I want him to be an every game starter. I really like him. <laughs> I really do like him. But we've got some pretty good players up there, you know? Bakkenhagen. Okay. Get creative. All right. So the uh, Bethke is uh, getting some game time uh, with the injury to uh, Coco. Jacobson with a card. Another deep throw into the box. Badge. Oh, he tries to slot it at the near post. Cannot find it. Are you trying to get on? No, you're just bathing yourself. All right, we've been outshot. I just feel we've dominated the game. All right, encourage the team. You're on my lap, and I cannot use my hand there, cat. I've got one of my big cats. Come say hi. Say, that's Harley. That's one of my big cats. Ugh. He's a handful. But I've always wanted a real big cat. He might be part Maine Coon, but I don't know. Oh, a little flick on header. Victor gets there. Plays it back to Gustafson. Don't play around. Out to Victor. Badge. Pallison over the top. Oh, a nice little flick out header. Gunners holds it up. Channels it back to the outside. Crossed in. Carl Evans top bends his fourth of the season. And we are up 2-0. That was a nice cutback ball. And Carl Evans, midfielder, finds the net. Very, very nice play. Oh, left peg, just beat the keeper. That was beautiful. All right, let's, um, all right, Roche, let's bring Tarpy on. Squared into Pallison. Oh, he lumps it all the way back to Gustafson. He plays it forward. He finds Gunners. Through ball. Oh, that was a good save by Brett Bergren. Bergren? I was thinking Bregren, but I was probably wrong. All right, let's see. Um... All right, Victor for Michael DuPont. We've got some tired guys. We do have a little bit of match congestion here early in the season. So we are going to see, you know, some of our, res you know, reserve players. Strenis. Oh, nice little finger touch by Gustafson to knock it wide. Oh, and here comes a highlight set piece. You know how I feel about these. Oh, what a save. Hello. And he held on to the ball. Oh, got to like that. Got to like that. All right, let's go ahead. Gunners, Christian Larson. We are going to have some tired players down the stretch here. I'm going to give him a spot of praise. Jacobson with the nice header. Paulison. Mm. Uh, Larson pounces on it. He's on a breakaway. He, put, uh, he puts it towards the near post. Keeper's right there. Knocks it out for a corner. 
he's a long hair harley is a long hair cat so he's cleaning himself and i'm just getting a a snoot full of uh cat hair <laughs> all right paulison dupont oh larson picks his pocket again he's on a breakaway right to bergeron fair enough fair enough oh we pressured the keeper he botched the kick wow that was uh very patrick bamford-esque gotta like that i think we've got we've you know a lot of the guys that we got this year good work rate good determination um you know better skills i think five five of them are slotted in the starting oh look at Dieter go up for that that was nice good ball movement very nice two nil clean sheet 19 to 14 11 to 3 6 to 3 on chances one possession they're bottom of the table but still got to be happy with that performance just have to be Puts us up into second. Three wins, two draws in our first five matches. We're only two points behind Hammerby, and we're actually plus one on goal differential. That was one of the things that I was looking at last year, and that's why I went so heavy after center backs uh, and trying to build up our defense this year. I mean, I got a starting left back, starting right back too, but you know, I went after the back line because that seemed to be our weakness last year because if you remember we one of the last episodes of last season we were kind of looking at the uh you know the second half and we were we were in the top top half in goals scored but we were right at the bottom of the league in goals allowed so can't uh you know definitely was a, a concerted effort on my part evans with a great game six match unbeaten going back to last year oh it's team tg that we beat in that season finale all right well we'll be right back with the next match so we had a little bit of an injury worry jason tarpy bruised his shin in training the other day but luckily only you know he's not a hundred percent but he's eligible to play today uh so we'll see all right we're on the road against hawken uh, they are currently in 12th position I don't put a lot of stock in the positions right now because, you know, we just don't know how good we are. All right, Thompson's back. Gunners is back. Uh, Jordevich is allowed to go back there. All right, I want I want to compare these guys. All right, Badge is in blue. Better defender. Really close, though, right? And then Evans, compare him with Badge. Oh, he's just he's just much better. So Badge is a little bit better defender. Passing, they're all even, right? Badge is in the lineup today. Selenius, he's got one goal in four, playing a 7.38. Pison has four in three playing a seven three four uh, and Lindbaum poor Lindbaum just can't get on the pitch <laughs> just can't get there uh you know the reason I in fact I'm gonna transfer list him I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask nine and a half and 30 percent because i don't think he's going to get on the field his his work rate is uh is what's holding him back and, and you know so he's a little lazy he can score goals right but that puts him third on our depth chart at best with the moves that we've made and we're only playing one up top right now if i was playing a two up top then he'd be first off the bench 
but right now he's he's just extra. All right, Roche plays it over the top. Thompson intercepts the pass, lays it off to Dupont, drops it back. Oh, there was a poor ball. I liked where he was going. Oh, and they beat us over the top. Tiago Richardson with the save. I forgot to put Gustafson in. Dang it, you guys didn't remind me. Come on. Need better support from you guys. So that means he is going to be uh he's going to get a 1-year contract extension. In fairness, he was he was oh, hit him in the back. He was liable to get the 5th game anyway, being that we were in our first 5 games of the season. <laughs> well, there's a cross. Dietert heads it out. Jordovic, uh he's on a run. We've got a counter opportunity. Lays it out to Nilsson. Uh, he beats his man. Oh, look at the through ball right there. Drop it. Oh, yes. Carl Evans makes the run, slots it home. Fifth goal of the season, and we're up 1-0. That was a hell of a run by Magnus Nilsson and Carl Evans with the hustle to be there. Where's our striker? Is that our striker? No. There he is, Selenius. He's making a late run, but Evans is right there. All right, you... What are we going to do here, cat? Come on, Harley. Ugh. All right, right there on my stomach. Okay, cool deal. All right. They can see your cat ears. That's okay. Let's give them a little bit of praise. Oh, they're uninterested. We're a little fired up. Thompson's complacent. Come on, boys. I'm happy with the one nothing advantage. Two nothing is better, but it's better than being down one nothing. All right, we do appreciate the efforts. Gunners is the only yellow card this match. That's awesome. Let's get a little creativity from the get go. All right, Roche. Let's move Bailey out there, and then we'll bring, all right, defensive center. All right, Victor can play there, and he can head. He can mark. He's He's got decent enough pace. Holst, a lot of pace, very little heading. I would rather him play the right back. So, yeah, let's let's put Victor on the inside. And Carl Evans... Let's bring on Karsten Bag Bash for him. Nice little overhang. Keep the fans from getting too wet in the rain. Oh, there's a nice through ball. Duol. No, he didn't even make an effort at that. I guess he, he judged with his keen eyesight. He judged that it was going wide. Veteran move by him. All right, DuPont. Oh, nice cross over his back, basically. All right, Badge out to Thompson. Oh, great first touch. Cuts it inside. Lays it off. No, 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 no. That's not good. Duholm beats his defender again. And again, shoots wide. Demand more. All right, we're composed. Oh, there we go. Gunners. Selenius makes the ball through. Oh, it goes off the woodwork. That was so unlucky. Oh, that was our two-goal two lead. Richardson. Both goalkeepers are looking... Knock on wood, they're looking a lot. They're looking a lot better this year. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Shit. Who made that mistake? Richardson punts it out, and there's nobody in that area. 
So that's on Richardson. All right, well, I'm going to have to factor that in. Oh, my God. Look at this. Mirren. Good save. Gunners. We can bring Leonard in the middle and then Larson in on the outside. Now, Mazella. All right, I'm going to confirm that once it takes place, then I want to go check the tactic. Oh, Tiago just torched, torched him. Oh, flipped aside. That was a very nice save. All right, I want to go into the tactics here. All right, no, he's actually pretty solid at Mozilla. I'm all right with that. Come on, boys. Clear it out. Uh, there's a penalty. Magnus Nilsson with the push. No, no, come on. Not even close. We've already made all three subs, yeah? Yeah. Damn it. Push forward. All right, Bailey, Dietert, oh, Selenius takes the chance, he buries it, oh, nice little touch just to the left, Dietert with a beautiful ball, and Agel Selenius, his third goal of the season, that was a nice ball there, oh, Selenius just kind of went under his man when he went up for the header, missed the header, and Put it in the net. Was he offsides? Yes, offsides. Oof. All right. I am going to go. Let's do some time wasting. All right. Doll. Plays it out. Oh, there's a header. All right, Dieter controls it. Over the top. Selenius, breakaway. And he slots another one home. That's a brace. Fourth goal of the season, and that puts us up. Three minutes left to play. Oh, that has got to be a come-from-behind win. Nice ball. Dieter with two brilliant, brilliant balls. And that is a great win. Both of Selenius's goals, Dieter with the assist. That was excellent. We got outplayed, but you know, we were going to salvage a point there. And then we find a way to win. If we can do that five, five or six times this year, we should easily go mid table, but we're sitting 14 points unbeaten after six and one up on Hammerby for goal differential. The only difference is they've got five wins and one draw. We've got one extra draw. And you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not even really worried about finishing top six. Um, oh, rules. Rules. Two million dollars for six position. We got 1.69 last year. You know, that's actually pretty pretty cool because, you know, even 16th position, which is 1.7, you've got to make the top six to basically get more than 200. That, you know, they're not getting a quarter million dollars more. You don't, you don't make anything more until top four. I mean, that's the Premier League doesn't do that, do they? The Premier League is so lopsided, it's, it's, which, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that. So, even, even if you stay up, that's 12 million. Five times, 
That's just for the Premier League. And then whatever you get in Champions League. That money is so skewed. And that's why you only have a top, you know, a, a power six, power five or six. And then you have everybody else that's just looking for crumbs. It's one reason I'm not a big fan of the Premier League. Um, I've got a friend of mine that just kind of got into European football about three years ago. And basically he looked at the top teams and he's, he became an Arsenal fan. Um, you know, when I became a fan, I became, you know, I'm a Leeds fan. You know, I didn't even choose a team in the premiership. So, you know, it's like, you know, you can tell who, who real fans are and who plastic fans are. And I like my friend, but yeah, that's a, you know, anyway, let's see. Two, man, two goals, 90% passing. Well, your passing was very good. Your two goals were great, but I'm going to praise your passing because that's unexpected out of our striker. Wow, an unbeaten opening month to the season, boys. Tell you what, we were knocked out. In, oh, in the cup. I didn't show you guys this in the cup. Uh, let's see. We drew with Kalmar. Then we beat Jan Kopings. <coughs> we were actually favorites in this game, and we lost 4-0. Yeah, so, you know, we ended up finishing. Uh, we They didn't even let us play again. I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, uh, yeah, after the second match, we were eliminated. So uh, that didn't help us out any. Where do we come back? There's nothing else to play. I'm going to go ahead and go to... I'm going to go ahead and get to July. I mean, it's only six games. It sounds like a long time, but it's only six matches. Because then that gets us into the next transfer window when we get our new player and our new goalkeeper. So looking forward to that. Guys, hit that like button. I think we definitely deserve one with a two-win episode. Our first with Carl Scrona and the Alavascon. Got to be happy with that. Got to be happy with that. Very excited. We'll come back for Team T. Uh, well, we already played your gardens, didn't we? Uh, I don't want to seize your gardens again. Tell you what, let's come back for Elfsburg and AIK. Come back a little bit later. Uh, I just don't want to seize your gardens again. We just played them. So we'll do that. Unless I see something pop up down in here, uh, we'll, you know, we'll come back for that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.